Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Master of Magic. As always, I'm General Confusion, haven't changed that. And we are conquering the world with Death Trolls. So, uh, we do have a food negative because of all these war trolls we've been recruiting, which is a bit of a drag. Uh, all of these guys are farmers already. Let's buy that marketplace so we can get to a farmer's market a little quicker. And then we are going to have to turn one guy here into a farmer again. So now we have a one food surplus. Up here, we've got Theria the Thief with her Irons, Mace, and Chainmail of Protection, making her honestly pretty tough. She's uh, She's gotten to the point where she is pretty exceptional, and we are enchanting yet another item for her as well. I have one War Troll with her at the moment. I have one more War Troll moving up, and another War Troll who has just been recruited down here. Uh, we'll send them as well. What I want, actually what I should do is I'm going to activate this little guy and start building a road. Let's see what's in that node. Uh, there's a Sky Drake in that node, so we are not going there. Let's move out. Uh, is he rebelling? No, he is farming. Good. We don't want trade goods, we want a Builder's Hall. Down here I have my first Adamantium Hammer Hand, which we talked about last time. Them, we are going to save for... So we did take that tower, but unfortunately it doesn't go anywhere. So next, we need to find another tower to attack, which would be here. So this Adamantium Hammer Hand, we are going to gather in this town. Actually, I changed my mind. Our Hammer Hands, since I have these magic roads that don't take movement points, we're just going to keep them all in Abanax, where they are being produced so that they can uh, keep unrest down. Alright, Asbron has grown, Groningen has built their marketplace, so now let's get the farmer's market for that sweet, delicious extra food. Over here we have Sra units. We have Fleer, a hero with 8 attack, 8 defense, and 10 hit points, and 2 more troll spearmen. He sure is gen generating a lot of troll spearmen. Um, he can't take me, so we are going to attack immediately. Alright, he's dropping Holy Armor on his troops, which gives them two extra... It says defense is increased by plus three, but there's actually only two extra armors there, which is interesting. But okay, that's fine. I am going to cast Dispel Magic with, let's say, 15 additional power on him. Huh, didn't dispel it. Interesting. That's okay. I'm still not too worried about it. We're going to split our troops up. He's also casting Holy Weapon. Which... makes them magical weapons, basically. My war trolls are going to attack this hero, and he immediately flees. Uh, all of his units got away, which is highly, highly annoying. Uh, and there's some more spearmen and swordsmen down here. You start building roads. And that, I think, will be all that it is. Abanax is building their Miner's Guild to help with the generation of Adamantium Hammer Hands. Okay, we're getting attacked again, but this time just by two spearmen. Two really, really dumb spearmen. I mean, really. Just so dumb. He's casting healing, but that really doesn't help when you're up against troops that are, like, two tiers above you. Let's see if we can finish off this hero. Uh, they fled, and I think they died, which is great. That spear and swordsman cannot... Oh, no, they got around me because I was set on auto-move. Shoot. Get back to the town. You keep building roads. So they're going to attack the town. No, they're not going to attack the town. They should have attacked the town. It was very, very foolish of them not to. Uh, now that... So, Ale Earth does not have any special unit creation abilities. And that being so... Uh, I do want them to be able to train, like, basic troops. But... That's about all I need them for. They can train swordsmen and settlers and stuff, but for right now, 
Why don't you just make trade goods and make me just a ton of money? Yeah, the marketplace, the miners guild, the gold mine, silver, all that stuff makes... You can click on here to get a breakdown of what is making production for you. Uh, and it will, you know, give you some information, but it's not terribly, terribly important. But it does tell me where all that money is coming from. Trade goods would be helpful. I could build the armory if I want to build advanced dwarf units here, but I don't need to build dwarf units here, so I'm not going to spend that. I could switch to housing to gain my population growth, but I'm just going to go with trade goods. I don't care if Aelurth grows very fast at this point. So you attack them. He's dropping more buffs on his troops. I am going to cast Mana Leak so that he will lose 5 mana every combat turn, and then I'm going to take advantage of that by just running around. So he's going to lose more and more and more and more mana at 5 per turn, until he loses at least, you know, the 20 that I just spent. I can do this forever, Sra. How do you like it? You don't get to have any mana. Uh, I think I'll kill one of his units here. Okay, now I'll just regenerate all my health. Yep, okay, now I'll kill him. There we go. So that cost him a whole bunch of mana and basically just fed me nine free points of experience. Let's keep the road building going. Get our war trolls moving. I'm back down to negative one food, which is annoying. But unfortunately, the need to make more and more and more food is just kind of part of the game. You're both farmers already. Over here, you can become a farmer. It cuts down my income just a little bit, but I need it. Gron Engine has grown. We've got a builder's hall here, so now we can build a greenery. You two. Uh, move up that way. You join them. You move up to that town. Once I get the granary in there, I will want to get some basic defensive units. A shrine? Do I need a shrine? I will need a shrine. I'll need a smithy as well. I won't really need a barracks, but it has zero maintenance, so I might as well have a barracks. So you join them. You three just kind of move around. You go over there, because I think Sisra is actually in this direction. Yeah, yes, now I know that Sisra is in that direction. Let's get the shrine next. I have so much money I can afford to just continually spend it on things. So that is Johan. He has a whole bunch of heroes. Wow. So Generalton and Crag Keep have both grown. The Hamulet of Rangwall has got its shrine. So next, I might actually build a Shipwrights Guild. And let's get a smithy, which will allow the marketplace. So you, you guys move there, and then attack. And he retreated again. He didn't lose anything, which is frustrating. Let's you join that army. You continue to build the road. He keeps just retreating. And I mean, I understand it strategically. It's pretty much the only thing he can do. But it is quite frustrating. If he attacks that Hamlet, though, I think he's doomed. Okay, now that we've got some production, let's get the marketplace and then go on to a farmer's market. You attack them. And he retreated again. That time he lost the Spearman. Hit him one more time. See if maybe we can get the hero. He keeps getting the first uh, move because he's fast, and it makes it difficult to catch him. We're going to keep pumping out war trolls like there is no tomorrow. Now that I've got a pretty decent sized stack, I can probably clear out some of these lairs. Um, especially because one of my war trolls is actually veteran already. So if we compare them, the veteran war trolls have more resistance, I think? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 attack, 5 defense. Ah, they have one more armor. That's the benefit of veterancy. Okay, that's not bad. All 
right. Do I want to keep chasing his hero willy-nilly? Uh, those war trolls will be done next turn. And pretty soon, as I said, we're going to start clearing out lairs with war trolls and hammer hands. Let's buy the miner's guild real quick. Spell-wise, I am enchanting another item. It will take... Why will it take so long? Why will it take infinite? Ah, because I am out of mana. Well, let's transmute some mana. There, four turns. That's more like it. Uh, you... Actually, you just go there and wait. Because I want to use you to clear out that lair. Up here... You join him, clearing out the lair. You four keep driving this hero away. And I think we killed him. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay, we have learned a spell. We have learned the spell of Shadow Demons, so we can now summon them. Black Prayer is also a pretty solid death spell, as is Possession. Possession, I think... Is harder to res is easier to resist. Yeah, fantastic creatures and heroes cannot be res cannot be targeted. Let's get um. Actually, let's get recall hero just in case. Recall hero will let us save our hero if our hero uh, ends up having to ends up in a combat that they're not going to win. Basically. So Abanax, go back to producing hammer hands, please. It'll take seven turns. Um, I gotta get rid of these rebels, man. So that is Tamara with a pretty significant pile of spearmen. You all move down there. Now you have four moves. So what if I were to take... Can I take you individually? No? Okay. These two war trolls down here. Um, Tamara has 11 defense, 10 hit points. The spearmen are really not threatening. I think two war trolls can probably take that army. I am at minus two food yet again, though. So this town over here has literally nothing but rebels. Let's just buy some swordsmen to get them under control. At least one. Buying one swordsman will allow me to turn one of them into a farmer, which will uh, help. Up here, you all become farmers to feed my ever-growing army and lust for food. Okay, so they're attacking me. Which I think is probably a mistake. I am going to drop Mana Leak to suck the energy out of them. And then I'm just going to wait. I'm just going to make these battles cost a ton of mana. Uh, I could cast Terror. Not really useful against trolls, though. Uh, let's try dropping a Black Sleep on somebody. What's your resistance? Nine, nine, eight. Did it work? I don't think it worked. Against high resistance enemies like trolls, this- No, 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 don't, don't, don't auto, don't auto. I pressed the wrong button. Alright, kill tomorrow, please. Yes, thank you. Okay, lost one of the war trolls. Doesn't matter all that- as with all war troll battles, I can kite the enemy infantry to death. Okay, got my fourth figure back. Finish them off. Move down around here to attack the more vulnerable unit. And let's dance away so that we can get our fourth unit back before we fight these buffed... Uh... Yeah, it says plus three for Holy Armor and Holy Weapon, but it, uh, it looks like Holy Armor really only increases it by two, which is interesting. Let's get my fourth model back real quick. Okay. Turn around, do some damage, and there we go. And I gained one fame. Okay, so I now have Mercenaries for hire. If you have enough gold, Mercenaries will pop up occasionally. They do require food to upkeep, but no money. In this case, these are Draconian Spearmen. They are elite. So what that means is Draconians can fly, so they have two moves and they're flying, which gives them a ton of mobility, excuse me. Um, they have plus one to hit from their elite status. They also have this fire breath attack, so before they engage in hand-to-hand, -hand, they basically get a free attack from each model on the enemies, which is pretty good. So I am actually going to hire those mercenaries. 
On top of that, Theria is now a champion. So I have my two Draconian Spearmen. They are going to fly over here. This guy is going to continue to build roads. Did I not build a road on that last square? Oops. Okay, you guys wait. All of you, so as a champion, your armor is now ridiculous. Your attack is now very high. Can you move alone? Yes, you can move further alone. Okay. So now I can turn him into a farmer to get even more food. I don't need any more swordsmen here, thank you. I do need a shrine, however. So you patrol. I need to alchemize more mana because I have run out yet again. It will take two more turns to cast enchant item. I want to get you to join this army, and then we will attack that lair. You, hero, there is a wizard's tower. There are ghouls inside, so let's not enter just yet. Let's find Sra first and kill him for his impertinence. All right, Crag Keep has got a temple, which helps a little bit. Let's also get a library for the extra research. Where is Sra? Is he coming? He can't be coming through the tower. Okay, you five, let's go down here. There are sprites inside the dungeon. I do wish to enter. It's one sprite. So this is a really easy battle. Okay, there we go. Found 90 mana. Excellent. Southold has grown, and we have enchanted yet another item, the Amulet of Defense. Three attack and two defense. We're going to teleport it straight to her. So now Theria is very, very frightening. And there's another enemy hero. Move back there and build that road, please. Uh, you five, come down this way. You guys join up with her. What is that army? That is t two spearmen, a halberdier, and two heroes. He keeps recruiting heroes as fast as I kill them. Wow. That is impressive dedication to hero spam. Okay, city growth. What spell should I cast next? Let's summon a magic spirit. Because I hopefully will have a node pretty soon. And then... Should we drop a dark ritual somewhere? Increase... It will double the magic power I get from shrines and temples and all that, but it reduces population growth and increases unrest. I already have two unrest in Generalton, so I don't really want to increase that. However, I am going to pause in building my war trolls for just a moment. I'm going to build a Parthenon, which will take nine turns. But it will give me more mana and it will increase uh, lots of cool things. Let's go down here and see if we can take that node. Uh, doo -doo -doo. You guys, hold up. Oh, you all are still moving. Okay, there's Ra's army. Um, I don't know if you could actually take that whole army. I mean, you do have 13 attack, a ton of defense, high resistance. You might be able to, to be honest. Landru and Anastasia both have a powerful magical missile attack, though. Why don't you just join up with those troops? What's in that note? A storm giant. Uh, storm giants are another high tier unit, but they're not as high as sky drakes. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna go in and see what's what. Okay, so lots of phantom warriors, who are dangerous, and then a storm giant, who has that powerful ranged attack, and then is just really, really tough. I think I might be able to win here, but. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna pump a huge amount of power into a life drain to try and wipe out one of these phantom warriors. Okay, so we almost killed one of the units of phantom warriors, which is fine. I'm gonna stay at range while he throws his spells. I'm going to try to get him to throw them at the draconian spearmen as opposed to the war trolls. Because I would rather the Draconians are killed than the Trolls. Although, actually, the Trolls I can, you know, regenerate, so never mind. Throw them at the War Trolls, please. 
They're the more dangerous targets anyway. The Draconians I will use to eliminate the Phantom Warriors. Because it doesn't matter if they take damage, and Phantom Warriors can cause a lot of damage. Uh, the War Trolls, well, the War Trolls are going to have to get involved here. Yeah, see, like that. Phantom Warriors take a ton of damage, but they also do a ton of damage because their attacks ignore armor. Now, that said, the Fire Breath of Draconians makes them very well suited to killing Phantom Warriors before they take any damage back because the Fire Breath attack goes off before melee. So you guys wait down here in the corner while the Draconians take out the Phantoms. Now here comes the Storm Giant. I can't outrun the Storm Giant because he does have two moves. So the Draconians are going to have to kind of block up to let the War Trolls regenerate because he, the Storm Giant has a very, very tough attack. And plus two to hit, which means he does even more damage than it looks like he should. Um, hit the Storm Giant. You two can move up there. You guys come over there. Okay, the Storm Giant's taking some damage, but not enough. Yep, let's get the mercenaries killed off here. You wait. You are at full health, so you start to come in to fight. You back off. You come in and fight. Yep, we're taking the Storm Giant down, piece by piece. We are going to lose our Draconian mercenaries, I think. There we go, we got him, and we gained some fame. So we got 50 mana and a sword. Dragon Slayer, plus 2 attack, Flaming, plus 3 attack, Strength. We are going to swap that straight in for Theria's weapon. Because uh, that's plus 1 attack, plus 2 to hit, plus 1 defense. That gives her plus 2 attack, and plus 3 attack, Strength. So now her attack is very, very ridiculous. And her attacks are Fiery, which is nice. This... Magic Spirit will go straight down there to the node to meld with it. To get me some sweet, delicious mana. You, uh, wait in the town. And you guys, um, keep exploring. You, uh, Adamantium Hammer Hands. I think two probably aren't enough, so why don't you patrol for now? And you continue building that road. Uh, let's actually go clear this tower, because all it has is ghouls in it. It does have one demon. So there's a whole bunch of ghouls and one demon. Demons have very high attack and HP. They're single entity, undead, deathy units. I don't think I have any death spells except disp any non-death spells except dispel magic. So these ghouls are just going to be immune to whatever I do. Unfortunately, we're going to split up our force a little bit. So the ghouls are going to come in here. We'll get the first hit and wipe a bunch of them out. You wait there. You come down there with him. You move up and wipe out some of these ghouls. You also wipe out some ghouls. Ghouls are just not threatening at this phase of the game. I can't attack the demon because the demon is flying. So instead, all I can do is take down some of these ghoul units. Take down some ghouls, take down some ghouls, take down some more ghouls. So the demon went down to the war trolls, because war trolls are just that good. And we will clear the rest of these guys out pretty quick here. There we go, we gained one fame, and we found the Create Artifact spell. So we can use that to create even more powerful items, just to uh, show it off. Create Artifact allows me to cast, or rather to give a weapon abilities that cost more mana than Create Item does. So for example, with Chainmail, with armor, I could give someone a Wraith Form item. With a weapon, I could make the weapon Vampiric, which means it drains health to heal them. That ability is a little bit bugged. It's still very, very potent. Um, what is her current shield? Yes, abort the enchantment. There's Sra's units. Here's my army. What is her current uh, armor? 
plus 4 defense, 2 movement, and 3 resistance, and her amulet is 3 attack and 2 defense. So what I want to do is I want to create an artifact. It should be miscellaneous, wraith form, which will make her, um, should make her ethereal. I guess it probably doesn't give a defense boost, though. Yeah, wraith form might not be... I think it will make her movement flying, and it will make her ethereal, which is valuable, but not that valuable. Um, instead, I think I will give her plus two to hit. Or how about plus one to hit? <laughs> I could forge her an item that costs an absolutely obscene quantity of mana. Um, I, I don't think I'll do that. I don't think I'll forge her anything. She's, she's good enough right now, to be honest. I do definitely want to get some more units. Let's buy the Parthenon real quick. I need to get a couple more units up here, because I think one War Troll might not be able to handle all this ranged magical damage. But so long as I recruit a unit in the next couple turns... Actually, I'll tell you what. I've already got these Mithril Hammer Hands. Let's send them up. Yeah, it'll take them two turns to get there, and it will take them three turns to get to where they can attack the town. Okay, so I've met another wizard. I wonder where. So we've completed construction of the Parthenon. We're down to only one rebel. I could also go to a cathedral, which would give even more mana and reduce unrest further. In fact, I'm going to do that. It will take 18 turns. Once I do that, I will cast, cast Dark Rituals on this town to increase my mana income even further. From the Shrine, the Temple, the Parthenon, all of this is additive. It doesn't replace them exactly. Um, actually, maybe it does. That's 12. 3 is 15. 2 would be 17. No, it doesn't. It We still get all of this income, even from replaced structures. So another a th cathedral. A cathedral will add another 4 on top of this. Then when I cast Dark Rituals on Generalton, it will double all of this income. So it'll be 1, 3, 6, 10. It will double it to 20. Which will be amazing. So, relationship with you are tense. Uh, let's exchange spells. Uh, summoning circle? What will you trade for it? Sure, I'll trade you Detect Magic for it. Okay, that's fine. So you don't have anything else. Treaties. Um, I don't want a treaty with you, actually. Goodbye. Treaties are for the weak. Let's keep building that road. You just wait here. You guys, why don't you plane shift? And who is that? Oh, that's him. He's got... He's high men. He's got Spearman a Dervish, which I believe is a nomad unit. And uh, a nicely developed little tiny town here. Which I could attack. Hmm. Might be good to have a foothold on Arcanos. I want to deal with Sra first, though. So let's see if we can find him and shut him down for good. Meld with the node. So when you do that, when you meld with the node, you start getting mana for all the squares around the node. So my mana income just jumped by several points. And now... Uh, I have another node right there, but it's pretty well defended. So is that one. That one's very well defended. Um, I'll need to check out, check out this chaos node. I forget what was in it. But I'll want to send an army down to deal with it pretty soon. In the meantime, we're just going to kind of keep exploring. Okay, all three of these units are now going to attack this army. So he's dropping a holy armor and holy weapon. But since he's using spearmen... I mean, Anastasia the Healer, okay, fine. Landro the Magician, fine. He's Missile Immune, he gets Arcane Power, he's lucky, but honestly, honestly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop Mana Leak, which will steal extra ammunition from them every round for their magical attack. And, uh, yeah, I don't think this is going to be hard. I think the hammer hands and the war trolls have got this in the bag. 
let's... So those halberdiers are probably the most dangerous, especially because they have a holy weapon. Let me try to dispel that holy weapon. Yeah. The chance for success is equal to the mana spent on this spell divided by the sum of the costs of this spell and the target enchantment. So, for example, this spell is cast with 30 mana on a unit with Eldritch Weapon Enchantment, the chance would be 67%. So, since I have plenty of mana, let's dump 15 extra power into it. And try to dispel... Okay, so Holy Armor has been dispelled. So, we'll move down there, and wipe him out. And the opponent has fled. What did they lose? They lost everything but one Spearman and one Hero. Fantastic. War bears inside the abandoned keep. Let's clear them out. It's one war bear. There we go. Inside we found 90 gold. Excellent. I love money. Money's my favorite. Completed construction of the library. Great. Let's go up and get the Sages Guild as well. And let's attack them one more time. They ran away again, didn't manage to kill anybody, but oh well, we're doing all right. Where are you, Sra? Ugh, it's just becoming annoying now. Ooh, that is a claimed node. Claimed by Sra, I believe. Let me grab another magic spirit. And then another one, just for scouting purposes. Keep driving him, please. This magic spirit should head over this way. All right, we've got our Sages Guild. Let's also get an Alchemist Guild for the extra mana. This is just turning money into mana basically straight away, so I don't have to spend time alchemizing as much. And we've got the Farmer's Market, so now we've got a little bit more food. Let's get a temple here. And we've summoned another Magic Spirit who we will send north. Come on, hit him. Drive them. Okay, opponent has fled. They still haven't lost any units. Still annoying. Still frustrated by it. But so I guess Sra must be down here, actually. Let's clear... Ooh, a behemoth. Or a behemoth. And cockatrices. Now this might be a bad battle. One enemy unit resist or be turned to stone in addition to the hand-to-hand -hand attack. And the behemoth, of course, is just super, super tough. Let me see. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Terror? What's their resistance? 7, 10, 7, 7. Uh, yeah. It can still counterattack. Let's drop Terror, because it is fairly cheap, so I might as well try it. We're just gonna wait. Here. While they come in on us. Then, we are actually going to pull away so that the, um, the behemoth can't attack us directly and try and kill off the cockatrices. The cockatrices, unfortunately, are flying, which means we can't attack them. They have to attack us. What did that behemoth just do? Oh, I think the terror just hit. Okay, great. Good. Terror is having an effect. Uh, then let me drop a life drain on this unit of cockatrices. It didn't accomplish anything. Um, let me test. Let me let me see what, what happens when I attack the behemoth. Uh, never mind. I forgot I was in rough terrain, so attacking the behemoth was not going to happen. Okay, so the behemoth lost four hit points, and I lost a unit of war trolls. Bad trade. Very, very bad trade. Let's flee. Okay, so we lost a war troll, but we stayed alive. Let's move south here. I am losing a couple mana per turn. I have one war troll remaining. We're going to skirt that lair and head up north. That is a captured node. And whether it's a magic spirit or a guardian spirit will affect whether one war troll can take it out. No, don't do that. That was not the command I meant to give. Go over that way. We still have 15 turns on the cathedral. Um, I want to turn you into production, please. No, that doesn't actually change anything, so no, go back to making food. And now he's declared war on me, too, because, I don't know, I guess he hates fun.
Uh, please keep pushing this army away. Just, just kill him. Just kill him already. I really would like the first turn one of these days, but it's not going to happen. Okay, we have researched Recall Hero, which is great. Awareness would be a good spell to know. Black Prayer would also be a good spell to know, as would Night Stalker. Let's cast Night Stalker, and I am going to summon some Shadow Demons. They cost a ton of upkeep, 7 mana per turn in upkeep. But they're regenerating high-level death creatures that can plane shift and fly. So we're going to cast them. Magic-wise... My casting skill is pretty decent, so we're actually going to cut casting skill down to 25 and lock it, I think. Research, my research floor is now 17 points per turn. I'm going to start getting some mana income. For once. Uh, let's clear that lair. Has some giant spiders, but giant spiders are something we can handle. They do have web, which is a highly annoying spell. But, I think we can manage it. We're going to cast terror, first of all because none of these creatures have terribly, terribly good resistance. Then you all move up one space. My hero has actually already torn free of the web. The war bears are going to come in, and the war trolls are going to give them what for. Then the hero can move up and attack the giant spiders, which we've got to get rid of. We absolutely have to get rid of those giant spiders, because that poison and their web ability are both awful. Kill him. Thank you. Uh, poison only triggers when you attack. Now, for war trolls, it doesn't matter, because with 10 resistance, they are actually immune to poison. For less uh, resistant troops, poison is very, very bad. Oh my gosh, the double axe of pain. Plus 4 attack, plus 2 to hit, making all your attacks much more effective, and an extra plus 3 attack straight from flaming. So we are absolutely going to give that straight to Theria. It will make her even more dangerous, and she was already extremely dangerous. Uh, this guy... Let's go check out that node, that chaos node. I'm just, I'm just pushing this hero constantly away. She keeps surviving. It's so annoying. Come on, die already. Uh, a sorcery node with a sky drake. No. You all keep moving south. You. So that is. Two Spearmen and two Swordsmen, which have been buffed. I don't think one War Troll can take on all four of those units. Uh, what's in there? Zombies. Okay, so cheap trash. Now, who did I who did I accidentally order to move somewhere completely wrong? Was it you, Dwarven Engineers? Did I give you a terrible move order? No? Okay. Wasn't you. Thought I gave someone a terrible accidental move order. Oh well. I need to alchemize some more mana in order to make those shadow demons appear sometime. Okay, five turns for shadow demons. I want you to move down there. I want you to patrol for now. You guys... Oh. Uh... Why don't you... Uh, keep looking around up here. What's in that lair? War bears. Okay, so these are fairly simple lairs to clear. You move up there. See how we can do. Just a couple more minutes and I'm going to end this episode. There's a great drake in that chaos node. You guys come down there and join him. You also come down here because we are going to take that node away and own it for ourselves. There's a storm giant in that sorcery node, so that might also be conquerable. And that is an independent town of dark Elves, with a bunch of cavalry and halberdiers. That's also conquerable. Down here, we need to buy the marketplace and get some garrison forces to uh, hold off those dark elves that are coming in on us. So you can move down there. You actually just attack these dark elves. It's one unit of halberdiers. We can just auto this. And they're dead. So, you guys, now, attack! So, you have Holy Weapon and Holy Armor, and you are elite. 
You also have Holy Weapon, Holy Armor, and Elite. We're going to drop Mana Leak. And advance. Once again, Mana Leak is good just because it continually steals mana from the opposing wizard. And I don't think enemy wizards deserve mana. I don't think they should have any mana. You... Why don't you move up here, kill the weak first. You move up there. So, Swordsman, 7 attack, 5 defense. 9 attack, magical, 4 defense. That was actually a lot worse than I like. Let's drop a Dispel on one of these guys. Uh, unfortunately I fizzled. Dang. My hero, on the other hand... Okay, Sra can't heal. I am actually losing some units, and Theria is very close to death, because even with her very high defense and melee attack, taking attacks from multiple buffed-up, roided-out trolls like that is rough on her. Uh, these war trolls can just fight. I don't care if they die, because they'll just regenerate. And Sra isn't able to heal because of the nature node. So you move in, meld with the node. Everyone is, of course, back. Except, uh, Theria is still badly, badly injured. You, Mr. Hammerhand, move down there, so that you can schlep up north pretty quickly. We've got our marketplace and our first rebel, which means it's time for a temple. And everything is going very, very smoothly. Ah, the Guardian Spirit occupies this node. And the Guardian Spirit kills my Magic Spirit. I forget whether that's automatic or whether there's something you have to do in order to stop it. Maybe I should, uh... Maybe I could, like, uh, cast Dispel Magic on it or something. Or maybe I just have to go kill Sra. Uh, that's also possible. But in any case, I'm going to end this episode here. We've pushed back the Sraian Menace. We have occupied our first magic node. We will be occupying more in the future. We're also going to take this Dark Elf Town. And our forces will soon hunt down the evil Sra and uh, beat him to death and steal all of his magic power and all of his minions. So thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.